Hello children and welcome to Brilliance Online Edu Classes. Today I am here with the summary of the prose, the third level by Jack Finney from the textbook of class 12 English, Vistas. So children, let's see what is the theme of the story. The theme of the story is escapism, right? Now what is escapism? This modern world is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and all the rest of it. In this rat race of materialistic world, peace and contentment has become very rare. People now resort to other things just to escape from the worries of the world. So children, as we see around us, there is so much of insecurity. There is so much of fear and worry in life nowadays. If you compare your life or if I compare my life with the ancestors, they are much more content and satisfied. But I am not. The reason behind is, as the time is flying off, we are getting more materialistic. Right. We are surrounded more by fear and insecurities. And so what we try to do is we try to escape from the situation. So listening to music to relax yourself, going for spa. Right. All these things are nothing but just a temporary escape from the worries of world. So children, what are the characters in the story? The first character and the important character is Charlie. Who is Charlie? He is a 31 year old young man. Right? He got confused always about the doorways, corridors and tunnels of the Grand Central Railway Station. He always used to get confused. He found the third level at the Grand Central Station. So basically the station is only of two levels. But one day he... Uh, felt he experienced that he has reached the third level. He wanted to go to Galesburg where his childhood was spent. So he wanted to go to uh, the place where Galesburg which was uh, quite peaceful and uh, not that urbanized and there was a lot of peace and uh, uh, serenity and in the uh, atmosphere. So he wanted to go back there. Okay. So this is the character Charlie. Next character is Sam. Now, who is Sam? Sam is Charlie's friend. He is a psychiatrist, right? He thought that uh, Charlie is finding the third level because as a friend, Charlie told him about this. So, according to Sam, this was nothing but an escape from reality. Charlie was so worried with the burden and worries that it is just that uh, it was a psychological stress on him. And so, he tried to escape from the situation and so uh, he went into a, a imaginary situation where he felt that he reached the third level, right? The next character is Louisa, a very minor character in the story. She is the wife of Charlie who was quite worried about the uh, situation, the experiences Charlie was sharing with her because uh, she being a little uh, realistic because she was not into that psych uh, psychological pressure that much like Charlie. So she knew that whatever Charlie was saying is uh, not possible, not feasible. So she was worried about her husband, right? So a minor character, housewife, worried about her husband. So these are the characters of the story. Now let's see what are the events, right? So, uh, one day Charlie was late at the office and he wanted to reach home soon. So, he reached the station and took stairs there to reach at the platform. But he reached the third level of the station, right? So, he always believed that this Grand Central uh, Railway Station is like a huge tree, right? So, it, it every time he used to find some new tunnels and corridors. As you can see in the image, uh, this is how a two-level railway station is like. 
but so there are only two levels but he imagined the third level he felt that he had reached the third level very important point is you need to remember he was late at, at office that night he wanted to reach home very fast and so he was tired exhausted and he was desperate to reach back home so in this psychological condition it might be that uh, in that uh, stress he went into an imaginary situation okay then he had a hobby that he used to collect stamps his grandfather also do used to collect stamp the hobby of collecting stamp children is known as philately right so his grandmother father also had this habit uh, of this hobby of collecting stamps and he continued with it right so stamp collection was a hobby then here uh, in this lesson there is a difference given between escapism and hobby now children in the childhood you might have written essays on hobby wherein we define hobby to be something uh, fruitful something interesting that we prefer to do in our leisure time right so in olden days there used to be leisure time and so it was called hobby but in present world there is no free time people take out time to escape from the reality and the burden right and so now hobby doesn't exist hobby has got transformed to escapism so when his grandfather used to collect stamp that was hobby but for charlie it was nothing but escapism charlie reaches the third level so as i told you that he reached the third level and uh, after reaching the third level children he found that everything was different there it was designed in a very old style right so he finds the people dressed in a old style he found the station the counters to be wooden of old style right he found that uh, the lamps were very dim like in olden days so then he realized then he took up a newspaper and he found that the date was also of 1890 around something so then he realized that he escaped into past he had moved to the past again his desire to go to galesburg that revived because he felt that according to this time the amount that he has in the present that is too much and so he can go back to galesburg he can go to galesburg again so he goes to the ticket counter but then his currency was of the modern time and that time currency was different so the uh, ticket collect the counter the person who was there he gave a very suspicious look at him and he immediately moved out because he knew that he could be trapped in a um, miserable situation right so this is the glimpse of galesburg right all greenery peaceful serenity all around okay so uh, he moves out he changes the currency the modern currency from a shop he changes it to the currency of that era and after that he tried to reach the third level again to get the tickets for him and his wife but he never reached third level again okay so one day he uh, was just looking into the collection the stamp collection and there he was looking into the first day covers now children what are first day covers you can see here first day covers means that whenever uh, a new stamp used to be issued the people who have a hobby of collecting stamps what they do is they take that stamp they uh, paste it in a self addressed envelope and then they post it and this stamp would go uh, through all the process and would come back okay so these type of letters they used to keep in their collection and these were called as first day covers so one day though he had seen that collection many a times but that day when he was seeing the first day covers suddenly he found a, a new first day cover and when he opened it he got a note from sam his friend sam in which it was written that sam had already found the third level and he has reached there so children here the story ends now the thing is what is the meaning of this story so the meaning of this story can be interpreted in two ways one way is you can think of 
that uh, Sam also is facing the same worries and insecurities and tensions in life. So he might have also gone into an imaginary situation and has written this particular note. The other perspective which is more uh, connected and which can be more justified is that this person is already in a psychological trauma and he is finding new places and third level and this and that. So this was also nothing but the regret that he was not able to get that third level. So in that depression he might have got this psychological depression and he might have gone into again an imaginary situation that his friend might have gone into the third level. Right children? So these were the events. Then he learnt that Sam had found the third level. So which I already discussed with you that he again went, in, went into an imaginary situation that Sam might have got the third level but he couldn't. Okay. So children, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is in this materialistic life of burden, worries and insecurities, one must try to seek contentment and satisfaction. A happy life is the key to a calm and healthy mind. So if you want to keep your brain functioning properly, we need to keep ourselves happy. We need to try to be satisfied. We need to limit our desires. The more we get into desires, the more burden and worries come to us and then the brain starts functioning in an unbalanced manner. So if we want to have a healthy mind, we need to have a happy life. Fine children? So this is the conclusion of the story. Thank you all for listening to me, for watching this video and I am sure this is going to help you to understand the text properly. Thank you children.